What is going on guys? We are here playing Dungeon of the Endless. This is Two Noobs Gaming Channel. We are just a couple of noobs trying to make it in the gaming world. Now, today we are going to be playing this game, and I've played it a little bit before. However, I'm, I've sucked terribly at it. So we're going to try a new game today, and we're going to see what happens. Alright, so... Alright, so our escape pod is crashing down onto a planet from that penal transport. So, we are going to go with easy. As you can see, I only have two choices. Two easy and easy. I'm going to stick with easy. We're going to choose two different heroes. I've generally gone with this guy just because he's got a gnarly ass beard and he seems like he's a pretty badass dude. Um, now, before I've chosen this guy, but, you know... I think I'm going to change it up. I'm going to see. Pat Bates has been unlocked. Let's see what Pat Bates has. He has a lot of health points. He can move pretty fast. And he does a lot of damage per second. Um, I, I generally like guys that can move pretty quickly and that have a lot of health. Uh, you know, maybe I'll change Max O'Kane. Let's see. Um, oh, I kind of like this guy. This is the Professor... Um, we don't want to go with random. Let's just go with this. We're going to have Pat Bates. He's going to kind of be our guy who's going to run around, scout, do a lot of damage. And then he's going to be our just our general backup guy. Um, I haven't unlocked any anything else really because I suck terribly at this game. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> And it's going to generate the world for us. <clears throat> We're going to see what's going on. Now, again, I'm by no means an expert. Uh, I kind of have a general idea of what's going on. Basically, you want to scout out the area. You're going to gather resource where you're going to gather dust. Um, and dust lets you light up new rooms. And then you got things like food. You got science and industry, which does, it does some different things. And you can gather some stuff. So basically, what you're, you're trying to find the exit to this level. And you want to get this thing into the exit. So... We're going to leave Max O'Kane here, and we're going to take... I don't even know what this guy's name is. What is your name? Pat. Old Pat. We're going to take him in here. So as you can see, we got a prison uniform added to our inventory. What the hell does this do? Slightly more protective than naked skin, and a color designed to trigger the gag reflex. Okay, he's not wearing anything really right now, so let's roll with that. So... You come into a new room, and let's see. You hit control, left click, and it's going to light this room up. Now what that means is now that this room's lit up, no enemies can spawn in here. And so every now and then enemies spawn, and they try to all come here and take this crystal looking thing. So do we have enough? Let's see. Yeah, we... These things take generators, so you can generate science, industry, and food. Um... Let's see, I want to do some industry here, get a little going, and I'm also going to do some of these prisoner prods. And what these do, well I can only do one, they basically shoot lasers at enemies that come into this room. So let's go to the next room and see what we got going on. There's probably going to be some uh, some bad guys in here. No, we got lucky and it's already lit up, so we'll just leave that one alone. I don't think we can make any more, no we don't have enough industry to build anything else, so we're going to go up what's happening in here. Shit, this one's lit up too. Uh, can't do any of that. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of more prods. I'm gonna do three of them. Just in case, because when I unlock these other rooms, fucking monsters are gonna be beating me down to get at my crystal. Alright, so... Ooh, no monsters yet. Nail gun added to our inventory. Let's see what the hell this thing does. Nail gun has attack power of 11 and cooldown of 0.2. Um, let's see. I guess he can't equip it. Hmm. Fuck it. Let's just leave it alone. Let's open up this. Now this looks like... There we go. We got some bad guys. So I'm going to come back to this room. We got some prisoner pods in here. 
So what's gonna happen is he's gonna burn these guys, and these prods are gonna just shoot fucking lasers at him. So we'll go back up into this room. Got a little bit of dust. Well, I don't have enough dust to power that. Alright, so now we got here. We can do some research. I want to research that. So, as you can see, since this was black, wasn't lit up, it generated spawn monsters. So again, the dark room spawned the monsters. And bring them back there and fuck them up. So let's keep going. I think. Okay, I am researching. So let's go in here. Again, every time I do this, monsters are going to spawn in the dark rooms. So, probably light that one up. There we go. Come down here. I can put a couple here, just for shits and giggles. This guy looks like he's going to flame these fuckers to death anyway. And we're generating a lot of industry ready. So, how about we do some, some science in here? Probably light. No, not enough to power that room yet. So that room's empty. Um, it's still going to generate monsters. Let's see what, okay, here's the exit. So, can light that up yet? No. The whole goal is to get that crystal here. But the more you explore, the more resources you gather. The more resources you gather, the better you will be in the future. So I'm going to explore some more of these rooms and see what I can get. Smoking gun unlocked. And as you can see, all these monsters are going to come from all these darkened rooms, and they're going to come try to take my motherfucking crystal. So, you should weaken them a little bit with these guns. When they come in here, I don't think they'll, they'll stand much of a chance. I can unlock that just so it doesn't spawn any monsters. I think all those guys are going to be taken care of. So, let's go up here. And again, we found the goal, but I'm just doing a little exploration so that we can get ourselves some resources... Crutchy added. I'm going to unlock that room. And let's do some more science, even though it's probably not worth it since we're almost to the end. So it looks like our defenses are beefed up enough to where it will take care of any guys coming through here. Um, I'm going to put... I can't. I'm out. What does a smoking gun do? A weapon from a crime scene adapted into a module. Okay, so. so as you can see, this is going further in. Okay, what do we got here? Sorry about that. We got a merchant. So he's selling some stuff and I can sell some stuff back to him. I'm not really going to buy anything right now. Uh, I don't have enough dust to unlock his room. And it looks like we are at the end. So we'll come back down here. I'm going to throw a smoking gun down right there just to see what it does. More so than anything else. Well, fuck. It's not going to be completed in time. We'll just burn him. Oh, shit. You can hit this button to heal your guy, but it uses food. Alright, so now we got some dust. Um, I'm going to unlock that. I'm going to build one of those. And... One of those. So now what we got to do, I'm going to position my guy right here. I'm going to take Max O'Kane. He's going to grab this crystal. And then he's going to fucking run to that exit. We'll see if we survive this shit. Alright. So I'm going to stick with Max. Come up here and try to... Try to do some, some pre-damage. Looks like I'm... Good. I don't think I think we waxed all those monsters before. All right, both heroes are ready. Let's get the fuck out of here. That was level one. Floor clear. There's my stats and my score. As you can see, we have all these floors to clear. So let's move on to the next floor. We shall go. Right, so this is the beginning of floor two. I'm gonna take my uh, my pyro maniac scout friend here. We got enough to light up two rooms. What do we got? 
Soul Taker. What the hell is that? Um, 30 attack power. I don't think he can use it. What can he use? He can use guns. Um, dehydrated water, practical for those. Since this guy's my scout, I'm gonna load him up with whatever I can. Max, um, nail gun is gonna work out better for you. Now, can I? No. Nothing I can do there. Alright. What's your attack power, my man? Zero. And zero. Your attack power is 32. Let's try to take Max O'Kane and see what he can do for us. So, we need... Um, I'm going to put one there just in case. I don't know how deep this goes. If it's one more room, it's probably a waste. But as you can see, it's going to open up to, to various other places. So now we can research. Um, I can bring the science creator to level 2. Suppress a firebolt. Um, what does that do? Increase the damage heroes in the room. Pepper spray. Uh, target a monster attacks the other monsters during... Yeah. Let's roll with that. Let's open this up. So, what is that? Attack power 4. See, our prisoner prods are better. So, I'm just going to load them up there. Um, so, let's keep going. I'm going to just let these uh, prods work these dudes. And I'm just going to go ahead and light that up just so I don't have any monsters spawning from there. Because I like to get, you know, one whole area. You kind of want to light up as much as possible. That way you don't have monsters coming from multiple directions. You can just funnel them through the same direction. And that way you don't have to fight multiple fronts. All right, so here's the exit. Um... Let's do a prisoner prod right there. We still got a lot to explore. Alright, I don't have a whole lot of, uh... I don't want to take on all those fucking monsters by myself in there. I'm gonna come over here. I'll let this work those dudes a little bit. Let Max handle the stragglers. Give him a little health boost. These guys are slow. Probably be wiped out before. So there's nothing in there, so... We're just gonna have monsters... ...funneling in from that way, so... I'm gonna build a couple more of those, that way we know that they're taken care of. So now I'm gonna explore the rest of it. I could just take the crystal and roll, but I'm gonna see... I'm try to get... ...some more... ...nail gun. Another nail gun. Make sure these guys are going to get taken care of. I don't want to be rolling around in the top part when my man's down here getting busted. Alright, so that's all those dudes. Let's continue our search of level 2. Alright, so I got 11 there. You know, we got more monsters coming. I'm going to build a couple of more of these. Try to wax those dudes down a little more. Max. You are needed, Max. See, I told... I knew I'd, I made a good decision by getting him. I'm going to light that up. That'll reduce the monsters coming from this way. Even though we'll probably have a lot coming from this way, so... Let me throw some of these down. Right there. I should probably just roll. But I'm gonna push on. Yep. This may not end well, my friends. <laughs> Poor planning. I'm gonna have to use a lot of food to keep Max alive. There we go. Alright, I need some more dust. 
Let's go up here. Alright. Shit. This may not be good, my friends. Alright, now we got enough dust, we can wipe that one out. These guys are all taken care of. Now, to leave or not to leave? That is the question. However, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here. I don't want to be too long, so when we come back, we're going to be in level 2, and we're going to decide whether we are going to take the quick run or search for more of that delicious loot. Until next time, fellas, see you around.